Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Vintage Story. If it looks like Minecraft, that's because it's intentional. This game is heavily inspired by modded Minecraft, and they want to kind of support the idea of modded Minecraft right out the gate, so their own modding API, I mean, it's right there. Single player, multiplayer, it's going to look pretty familiar, uh, and we're just going to dive in and see how it is. Uh, so this game is not available on Steam yet, but you can buy the game from the website, uh, vintagestory.at. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna leave it on standard, and our world name is going to be Stank Town. Because I'm sure I'm going to do some horrible things. Oh, cool! So I can actually, wow, I can change a lot of settings right at the gate. I like that. So let's take a look. Oh, tool mining speed. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna up a number of these things just because I'm a lazy pants. Let's see, walk speed. Slightly faster, fast. I'm just gonna go fast. I don't mind keeping the difficulty up, but I'm I'm a bit of a hasty person. I wanna get into the uh the cool stuff and I don't wanna deal with uh too much punishment right at the gate. Uh let's see, no timer. Monsters spawn right away. That's should be fine. Seasons enabled, days per month, snow melts. Okay, so that's something we have to worry about. World edge traversable can fall down. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So there's a there's an actual edge of the world. Anything else? Yeah, let's make saplings grow a little faster just so I get get some trees. Global deposit spawn rate. Let's crank that up to two hundred. I don't know. Uh, let's see, land claiming. Allow underground farming. Heck yeah. Alright, there we go. That's better. World height, playstyle standard. These should be good. I kind of wish I could create a uh, custom playstyle that I can just save and post. I did forget the go live notification. It, I don't know. I Daylight savings time has messed me up. That and I spent a considerable amount of time uh, making a really swank house for the uh, Wholesomeverse server in Valheim. It begins, it senses, it remembers all that came before. A world unbroken, glimmers in the soil, taste and smell, grand inventions, burning sparks, molded forms, simple tools, the center unfolding. I really like this, uh, this kind of load in. I'm not going to say it's like a monologue, a uh, bit of text, but like, that's, I like that. That's got some ambiance to it. Dear player, in-game help system is a work in progress. Cool. H for handbook, and there's also a wiki. Oh boy, I look... Uh, what is my facial expression? Very sad. Upset, neutral, serious. Angry. Smirk. Kind. Tired. Daylight okay, savings time has been hard on me. And I have been... I don't- I look very strange. Leotard. Breaches. Aw, oh, sweet pants. Alright, beard. Full box. What else have we got? I can do something. Goatee with horns. Eh. Where is it? Friendly chops. Ooh, liking the friendly chops. What's the difference between friendly chops and full chops? Well, I don't know, but we're going wild chops. And we are going to be... What is my hair color? Liver. <laughs> I don't like the color, but liver. Sure. Uh, let's see. Hair extra. Oh, that's nice. I still would like to be able to import my own custom, like, model instead. But I do appreciate that... <laughs> I appreciate that they actually have a decent amount of character customization right off the bat. Okay, elaborate stick bun. Oh, sweet. I can look fancy as I wander around. S snood. I could have a big ol' snood. I don't know, Viking top braid. And why well, we could go full bald, balding. Oh. Afro. Just full wild man here. Or the dreadlocks don't actually look half terrible. Tonsure. Oh gosh, hell no. 
<laughs> I also have to question when games add that hairstyle, but I understand why. Classic. Messy. Look, I want to look like a guy that has not seen... Let's see. I want to look like a guy that hasn't seen other people in forever. Iroquois. Oh, if I want to go full mohawk. Diaz. Huh. Let's see. That's a... There's a lot of... A, a lot of different hairstyles here. Short and spiky just looks very confusing. I'm going to spend way too much time looking at this. Let's just be a mess. And... Let's just, uh... Back bun? Sure. Let's look like a... Portlander. Now I've got stirrups. Sheriff? No. Fat walrus. Hell yeah. I'm not big on the messy though. I, I feel like it needs to be messier than this. I don't know. Whatever. Fat walrus it is. Do you got anything else? No, but there's a class. Confirm skin. Class. Okay, so I can be a commoner. No positive or negative traits. Hunter. Um, focused, resourceful, fleet-footed, and boyer. Wait, what's boyer? Ex exclusive, craftable, crude bow and arrow. Oh. Malefactor. Forager, pilfer, furtive, but frail and nervous. Clockmaker. Precise, extra damage against mechanicals, reduce temporal gear cost to repair translocators. What? Blackguard. Commoner. Huh. Well, I don't know. Do we want to just go full Geppetto here? I like Fleet Footed. The reduced damage and frail is a little spooky, though. Otherwise, we just roll Commoner and just accept it. Let's roll common until I actually know what I'm doing. I really like the music for this. It's um, it's not C418, but it's something. It's something else. Okay, so I do not have any of these tools. Okay, so I can still punch. I. This is a bop. Let's see. I guess let's see if I can actually get some basic rocks. I do kind of wish I could see my hands. I it's they're clearly there and happening. Uh, let's see. Can I go? Let me check uh, controls. Walk sneak. First third person or overhead camera. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I okay. I like this animation. Just ah, uh, get in my inventory. Alright, I should probably... Well, how do I craft? No, that's not it. E? E. Inventory and crafting. Gra... No. Mm. Um. Okay. They said the built-in tip. Okay. First tools. Find flint or hard stones. Can be found loosely on the ground. Place them on the ground to begin napping. You can carry up to four mobile containers, finding food. Easy food sources are mushrooms and berries from berry bushes. I... Okay, let's go find some rocks. I'm going to go back to first-person mode for the time being. Okay, and I'm not sure if I'm going to starve, so let's stay away from... Uh, let's stay away from sprinting too much. At least momentarily. My hands look weirdly long. I think I have, like, an incredibly short torso. I... It is legitimately too grassy for me to find rocks. Okay, that looks like a handful of rocks and berries. Harvest. Okay, cool. So, limestones. I'm probably going to get absolutely ganked by something, but... I'm just going to wander around for a while and see what I can get. Just to see if I can... Build some garbage. Okay. So what what is this in my inventory? Church stone limestone. Blunt damage when thrown. So I can throw things. G useful. 
I guess. Uh, hmm. Let's go over here. I'm really digging the, uh, I'm really digging the environments. Let's see, red current. Did I just throw my rock at it? I did. Dang it. Oh, we get another one. Okay, and let's avoid throwing too much. I, okay, I'm really digging this. So was this on, on my radar or did you pick this up just today? I, somebody had suggested it. I should probably go check the VOD, but it's like, hey, Wander, have you heard of a uh, vintage story? And I'm like, I honestly thought this is actually the, uh, the Suikoden follow-up follow that's coming out soonish. Um, like, legitimately thought it was that game. And so I was like, yeah, you know, it's, it's that one. And the answer is, no, it's not. It's actually a completely different game. Um, and so I, I just did some cur cursory Googling and said, oh, shit, like, this looks really good. And, I mean, baseline, it's still very Minecraft-ish, but as far as Minecraft clones go, I'm already pretty... I'm not going to say invested in this one, but I'm already having a, a good time with what I've seen so far. I love the big flowing grasses, the terrain generation seems nice and interesting. Uh, I love Minecraft's terrain generation, but it still always felt just a little sparse, maybe? And, like, just seeing this right here. By the way, I found my home. This seems like a really nice little place to put something up. Let's see. Should also keep an eye out for Hightail. Yep, I know about Hightail. Okay, so how do we nap? Begin napping. Okay. In order to begin napping, you have to collect either flint or hard loose stones. Granite. See which stones are hard enough to make tools. Check the tooltip in the inventory. With the stone in your active hand slot... Sneak right-click to place a napping sur surface, then recipe. Placing stones other than flint requires you to use the right mouse twice. With another stone in hand, use the left mouse button to remove all orange voxels directly touching the tool to complete it. Um, I get the distinct feeling limestone and shirt probably are no good. Yeah. So I think we gotta wander around until we find better rock. It does seem like they cranked up the complexity a little bit. For better and worse, I I could see a lot of people uh, bouncing off of this. This seems more like the kind of game... Wait, uh, we have flint. Okay, so we can start napping. Um, one of Minecraft's biggest strengths was that, you know, it was very easy to just pick up. Okay, here we go. Axe head, hoe head, knife blade, shovel, or spear. Soil blocks. Tree chopping. Defense. Spearhead. I guess I'm going to start with the axe head. Oh, this is what napping is. So I, I effectively just carve it out. All I have to do is just separate this section over. But I can see certain people getting really annoyed with how this works, maybe? Oh, we only need one stick to make a axe. Okay, so we now have a flint axe. Tool tier one. Mining speed, wood, and plant. So let's, let's start napping with the flint as well. Let's do shovel. Oh. Oh, so I have to have a spare flint to be able to nap, period. Okay. Well, let's go find some trees. And maybe I'll just take a look at the starter guide. Combat shelter. No. Napping. They don't really... They don't really give much of a... Much direction towards how to get up to granite tiers so I can start working with some other stuff. Oh well. Maybe I'll just find the resources as I go along. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wander. I keep seeing my own shadow and it keeps freaking me out. 
Nope, damn it. Keep picking up rocks and then throwing them at things. Okay. Granite cobblestone. Maybe I can punch this open? Well, I can get the granite slab, but no, I can't I can't punch it and use it for napping. There might be some way of reclaiming it, but I am not sure. We need wood, probably. Maybe. What kind of wood is this? Maple log. That's birch. So I probably should just keep to maple, at least for now. And okay, what is this witchery? The whole t tree broke? I kind of appreciate it. Loose, loose flint. Yes. Okay, sandstone, stone. Bye! We need flint. Because this will let me get a shield. Or not a shield, a shovel. Hopefully. Let's see, do I keep... Do I keep chopping maple trees for at least a little bit longer? I might as well. We want to start getting into uh, some higher tier stuff. I'm going to have to turn down the music. I had it... Uh, it started low... I guess for good reason. It's a bop, but boy. Okay. Uh let's let's go back. We've got some supplies. Well, no. Let's not go back. Let's just try and make a shovel, maybe. Yeah, it's gotta be shovel. Yeah, so you have to have at least one spare flint to nap. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Uh, let's see. What do we do? I might as well just kind of eat these cranberries. Boy. That is not good eats. Okay. Get a flint shovel. Get that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Question. Soil and sand. Gravel and snow. So I might be able to... Go find some gravel to mine. That's where we saw some earlier. Fire clay in soil. Granite. Low fertility soil. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just wail and wander at least for a little bit. I'll figure it out. Okay, this is granite rock. Requires tool tier two copper to break. Alright. Yeah, I'm missing it. I'm missing the step to get up to copper tier tools. Okay, this is all granite. What about you? Low fertility soil, limestone, hmm, bauxite. Uh, let's see. Oh, is this granite? This looks or not granite? Gravel. Sandstone. I guess I might as well just shove berries in face. Not quite enough. Wild daisy. Can I plant it? Yes. Okay, so what are you? This is sandstone stone. Oh, sandstone gravel. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I, I think I'm just gonna chuck the rocks. I don't think these are gonna help me that much, so I'm gonna just get rid of them. Well, let's see, if you like this, you'd probably like Terra Firma. It's a Minecraft mod pack with about the same complexity as this, maybe a bit more. Okay. I'm probably gonna stick with this, at least for the moment. I mean, obviously. I like modded Minecraft, but it's kind of one of those where it's like... I want to say this is a little bit more interesting to me just as a... as the potential for seeing where this goes. Modded Minecraft will always be there, but this game... This game's new and exciting, if that makes any sense. Okay. 
pretty sure sandstone gravel is not actually what I'm looking for. We've got it. I don't know what to use it for. Okay, Stone Age. Okay. Survival Handbook Progression Guide. So, craft clay vessels for storage, pots and bowls, for cooking and eating meals, as, a crucible, as well as a crucible and tool molds for the Copper Age. Find 40 nuggets of copper. You can find them loosely on the ground, which indicates an underground deposit in, gracked ve in cracked vessels, through panning sand and gravel, or by purchasing them from traders. Okay. This is a process. So you know all that uh, clay that I just kind of poo-pooed because I didn't think I needed it yet? I need it. Uh, let's see. It was here? No, this is... Wait, yes. Fire clay in soil. Okay, fire clay. Well, let's hope fire clay counts and is not something terribly special. Yeah, I should probably look at, uh... I, I should probably look into some of the decent Minecraft clones. Because I know, I know there was Boundless. Unfortunately, it was one of those where I had, like, reached out for a key so I could play it. And it took them, like, a year and a half to get back to me, because I guess the guy just never checked his emails. I don't know. Um, like, straight up, that's that's what the excuse was. And by that point, I was just like, eh, wind of opportunity is gone. But I should probably go back to it. There's a, a Minecraft clone that I really liked years and years ago called... Was it Sky Saga? Sky something or other, but it was really neat. But I'd like to play that one, and oh shoot, what's the other one that had, like, more action RPG mechanics to it? Let's see, mark every copper or other ore deposit on the map, because you'll need it. Yeah, Sky Saga is no more. Yeah, I heard about that, which is such a shame. It was really pretty. Uh, it had the same... Uh, it had the same, like, general visual... style that I was looking for from, um... And yes, I'm very well aware I'm not picking up anything. I'm just shoveling right now. Uh, it had about the same visual style as like Dragon Quest Builders, which instantly made it more interesting in my book. I like... Uh... Let's see. It might despawn. I doubt it. And if it does, we'll make it work. I'm keeping an eye on it. I, I want to find out if it does despawn now as opposed to later. Okay. We just eat these. Yeah, I'll go slightly over. Let's pick this up. And we also have cow parsley. That I'm just going to put there. Alright. Hmm. I have more than I thought. Uh, it's... I'm just going to put away the low fertility soil. Dude, I got more of this than I thought I did. Uh, hmm. Okay. Clay forming. Okay. Ants on creative sculpting. Can you feel the moist soft clay as you squeeze it through your fingers? Required to produce pottery and molds. With napping, hold sneak right, cause, uh, right mouse with clay in hands to create a clay forming surface. Once you've selected a recipe. Okay. So I can make crock pots, crucibles, storage vessel, anvil mold. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hope that they stay there and come back in a second. Worst comes to worst, I miss out on it. It's okay. Let's see if I checked out Boundless. I was just talking about that. That yeah, they would sent me a copy like a year and a half after I asked for it, and at that point I was just kind of like, eh, I'll get to it. Okay, what else do we have? Shingles, molds, raw pickaxe molds. So that's something we want to look for. Let's start with the storage vessel. Oh, add clay.
I like this, but I could definitely see this becoming a problem after a certain point. Oh, boy. Do I have to make the whole damn thing? Uh, let's see. Unsubbing on follow. Wander didn't make the crockpot first. Your addiction is disappointed. I we haven't actually made anything with our crockpot since we went largely vegetarian. Most of our vegetarian F for bigger tools. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Most of our recipes don't really require much for uh, for long cook time, so we haven't bothered with crockpot stuff. We want to get a bunch of uh, cookbooks once we can go out again, uh, and we'll go out and hopefully pick up a vegetarian cookbook. This is still or er, this is still really slow. Faster now that I don't have to fill out the whole thing, but. Uh, as somebody that has RSI issues, holding right-click and doing micro-movements to do the entire pot is actually a bit of an issue. You can also copy layers if they're the same or close to it. Ah, okay. Hopefully I can copy the rest of this, because yeah, as much as kind of this ring, like... Doing this manually. Okay, that's so much easier. There we go. Thank you. Cause yeah, I was I was actually gonna hurt myself if I had to make this whole thing normally. Let's see, this game does have multiplayer? It does! Okay, doesn't look like I get a choice on this one. Hmm. Actually... This might be faster. Place it down and then delete? Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I think it would be one of those that I'd almost prefer it if this is how you learn how to make the recipe the first time around. And then every subsequent one doesn't have you do this. I just... I know if I have to do this forever, I, it's going to destroy my hand, and I don't want that. Ooh. Okay. Then again, maybe I just don't have to make too many of these. Yeah, if I could do, like, hold to place lines, that would do it. Yeah, like a click and drag or something. Okay. Well, unfortunately, my inventory is very full. Okay, so I picked it up. How do we... how do we fire... Fire clay. Fire pit. Placing dry grass on the ground, then adding four firewood. Firewood. Okay, so I need to get dry grass. So I have to get... I have to get the knife. Shoot. Okay, this means I gotta find one more bit of flint. Otherwise, I can't do anything.
Is this? I think this is it. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Swing back. We want to make knife blade. There we go. I can actually just do it on the diagonal. Yes, I can. Unfortunately... Dang it. The wood has other plans for me. Okay. So pop this in, plus a stick, for a knife. Okay, flint knife. Okay, this seems like it's probably sufficient dry grass, so let's stop there. Uh, toss those on the ground. I know we can make baskets, which should solve a lot of my problems. Okay, cool. Dry grass. Um. Hmm. Come pick it up. Grab a lot of this. Boy, it got dark. Oh, shoot. Didn't realize I picked up the knife blade. Do that. Did I grab the axe? No. Now I've got the axe. I guess I could just make a bunch of firewood to start with. Oh. Well, I guess we have tons of firewood. I really overgathered here, didn't I? Uh. Wait. Clay forming fire pit. Ignite with a fire starter, which is sticks and dry grass. Okay. Please don't go back into my inventory. It is so dark. Okay, fire starter. Keep doing that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now we can see. Now I know what I'm doing. Now I just have to not have totally full inventory. I'm... Nope. Shoot. Why can't I pick this up? Oh, because I don't have to be in shift mode. Okay, let's that go. Pick up a bunch of, bunch of our fire. Open. Firewood? There we go. So I can store 32 firewood in here. We'll create one storage vessel. Uh, let's see. Clay forming. Pick it up. Put it on the fire pit. Charcoal burning. Holy shit! Okay. Oh no. If I pick this all up, does it cancel the process? I certainly hope so. There we go. Okay. So 
that's rolling. Let's toss that there. How's this doing? We have a storage vessel. This helps a lot, I hope. Okay, so now we can... Now we can store just stuff. I'm gonna store the grass. Probably gonna wanna, wanna just make more of these. At least for the time being. There we go. Okay. So begin clay forming. What else do we have? Molds, anvil, molds. Shingles, crocs, cooking pots. I guess let's start let's start with the cooking pot. I think his food is going to be an issue for me. Okay. Hey, chipper game music, please come back. It is very quiet. There we go. This saves me so much time and effort, except for you. You kind of blow. Yeah, being able to just place lines down would save me so much time and grief. Okay. That over, start firing that. Yeah, we're just gonna make uh we're just gonna make a number of things. So we did a bowl. Oh, is this Is this a bowl that I'm making? Nope. Making a cooking pot. Okay, now we do bowl. Uh, let's see. Yeah, my, I might as well make four, seeing as I'm going to be here. And then I think we're going to want to go back to the... Uh, let's see. And we're going to want to make go back to just making containers. Because I'm sure there's tons of resources I'm going to want to grab and hoard. And like my life will be a lot easier if I can actually store them. Okay, there's the chipper music that I was hoping for. I don't know if this is necessarily chipper, but I'll take it. Okay, we got a cooking pot. We got some bowls. I'm just gonna move it over. Just gonna make as much as we can tonight. I'll have to get some more of pretty much everything later. Let's see, crucible, Crocs, pervert. Preserve meals, pickle food. I... something to look into, maybe. Let's... let's just do storage vessels for now. My thoughts are, the more I can store, the more I can just go out and forage tomorrow. Whoa! Out. Okay. So there are creatures that are going to bite me in the the tukis. So we're going to want to also look into potentially defending myself. Um I guess I should use my axe instead. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna die. They can climb. Ah. 
Let's see, I do have a knife. Not on hand, I don't. My knife is elsewhere. Right. I was also pressing the wrong button to sprint. That's fine. Alright. Looks like they're gone. At least for now. Yeah, we'll, we'll fortify this position. I don't know how much they're going to attack us, but I figure I can just stack a bunch of wood, wood blocks as kind of a makeshift barricade. They're back. I think what I really need is the spear. There we go. Right, there's my knife. Oh. Please go away. Please die. Contents. Nothing. Oh, this one died. That's frustrating. Have them at least have, like, I don't know, flint. Flint would be lovely. I'm gonna die again. Yep. Okay. Well, on the plus side, I get all my HP back, and I pretty much lose nothing. Yeah, they kind of peace out rather quickly. All right. And that's still going. I just... Leave me alone! I'm making... I'm making pots... When I signed up for this pottery class, I didn't expect for weird, like, gopher badger horrors to just come and smack me in the booty constantly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got 11 days before my first temporal storm, whatever that means. Let's see, keep one as an effigy to warn the others. I mean, that'd be kind of interesting if they actually had that mechanically supported. Oops. Uh, put that in. And then finish this off. Because, yeah, I think I have just enough firewood to... Get me a second storage pot. Okay, I don't I don't see any any bad bad boys coming my direction yet. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's not nearly as bad the second time around. It's still one of those that like this is going to get annoying eventually. Uh, and I can see I can see this really flaring up my RSI. My god, leave me alone. I don't think I'm going to survive this one. Yeah, this is why I'm supposed to have a spear. Wait, where's my base? Where the hell am I? Oh, there it is. We should mark it on our map. 
Okay, so this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. I end of the, what is this, second day? I think it's the second day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I really like this game. It's, I mean, obviously it's super derivative of Minecraft, but it's got a lot of the things that I was looking for that Minecraft vanilla didn't have. And while modding had a lot of these features, it always felt just a little odd. Uh, you know, obviously the game wasn't built around them, and so it just felt out of place. Fun, but out of place. And I love the idea of a more mod-centric, from the ground up Minecraft. And that's kind of what Vintage Story feels like. But even then, don't get me wrong, this has identity. This has some unique features and unique design takes that I really enjoy, that really make this game stand out, even if it is ultimately still a very heavily pixel-textured, voxel-based game. And so I'm going to play more. I I have, gosh, I think I have five hours of footage uh, so far to edit through, and honestly, I'm playing, planning on playing more. I Apparently, there's also a fair bit of modding already going on for this game, so I'm going to probably slap a bunch of those down and uh, start messing around with them and see if, uh, see if any of them have some really neat features. But for now, at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because, yeah, I'm going to do I'm gonna do a bunch of this. I don't know how I'm going to handle a bunch of this. Because, honestly, to some degree, I want to play this multiplayer, too. Uh, so I might, I might try and recruit some friends to play this with me at some point. Uh, but at least for now, we're going to do a lot of solo stuff so I can really, you know, get down and dirty and learn how to play this game proper. Uh, so, also, I should probably mention Vintage Story is actually available now. Has been available for a while. It's just not available on Steam, and actually due to some weird issues, it's actually only available on their main website, which I will have a link to in the description below. Eventually, it's going to come to other platforms, Humble Bundle, H.io, and eventually Steam. But for now, at least, it's only there. Alright, well, with all that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.